Hey everybody, this is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab, and in this video I'm going to show you how to add an image directly to your post or to your page in WordPress. So right now we're on the dashboard, and for the purposes of this video I'm just going to create a new post. So I hover, I hover over post on the left and I click on add new. And I'm just going to enter a title, and a, a, a little bit of content. And now comes the important part. I'm going to click on the Add Media button. Now in a previous video, we uploaded my logo, the WP Learning Lab logo, which we can easily add to the post as well just by clicking on it. We can change some of the details and click on Insert Post. But for this video, we're going to add an image that hasn't been added before. And again, just like adding to the media library, all you do is drag and drop. So I'm going to drag and drop one of the featured images that I've created for one of our articles, the WP Learning Lab. And you just drag, drag it from your finder or from your desktop, and you put it into the, into the drop files area right here. And you just drop it, and it loads it in automatically. I want to uncheck the one I had checked previously. So if, if you, you can actually check multiple images and you can import them all at once into a post. But for this case, I just want to do one at a time. And when the image loads in, it just has uh, as the title, it just takes the file name of the, the JPEG or the PNG or whatever the image file is. So I like to add a new title. I usually make it quite descriptive. I don't usually have a new title for image as being the title. I'm going to show you also what the captions do. And we have alt text and a description. And then we have some image attachment settings. By default, what WordPress does is it makes the image clickable and it links it back to a bigger version of the image, which I usually don't like to do. So I usually set the link to part to none. So the image is not a link. And then you can choose a size. WordPress automatically scales down the image to vary sizes of the same aspect ratio. So I'm going to just use the large for this case. You, you can use whichever size is appropriate for, what, for your needs. So now we have all the image code that's automatically inserted. I'm in the text portion of the editor. If I click on the visual portion, you then see the image. And right below it, you see this is the caption. So the caption we entered in the, the image details shows up right below the picture. Now if we go to the text section again, we can see some more information about the image. So we have the actual image file in the source tag. And in the alt tag, we have alternate text for the image. And the alt tag is very important for SEO. Google. I mean, honestly, for as far as search engines go, we only care about Google. And they're also one of the more advanced or the most advanced. What they still cannot do very well is read text and images. They're getting close, but as of right now, they can't do it. So they rely heavily on the alt text and usually the title text, which I'm going to add in right now. So they rely heavily on the alt text and the title text to, to determine what the image is about, as well as the text that appears around the image. So for example, this is the content is text that appears around or near the image. So they try to draw, draw information from that surrounding text as well. So I'm just going to show you what the alt tag and what the image tag or title tag do. If we click on preview, we will see our image displaying in the page. And the title tag, when you hover over the image, it shows up. So I just wrote in this is the title. And then after a second of hovering over the image, it says this is the title. Obviously, you want to have something more descriptive there, something describing the image. And if you have a situation where images don't load, then you, have, uh, then you see the alternate text. And I'm just going to set that up right now so the image doesn't load, and then you can see the alt text. So actually, this should be really quick. I'll just break the file name.
So this is actually the alt text right here, a new title for image. I'm going to change that to be, this is the alt text, just to make it more real. So we preview that, and now it says this is the alt text. So that's text that appears when the image doesn't load. I'm sure you've often seen this inside of Outlook or an email client you're using when they block images. They, if the, the, peop, if the person who sent the email is very clever, they would have something in the alt text saying, please allow images. So then you would go ahead and allow the images so you can see the email as it's supposed to be seen. Anyhow, all that to say, that's how you add images to your post and adding images to your pages is the exact same process. It's going to show you real quick. You go to a page, you add a new page, and we have the exact same add media button right here. It does the exact same thing. Has upload files, you drag and drop, has the media library. So adding images to posts and pages is the exact same process and the exact same end result. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you subscribe and follow us on social media and check out our blog at wplearninglab.com where we post about WordPress daily. I'll talk to you soon.